Hey guys, today I have a matching Whirlpool washer and electric dryer set. And right now we've got this one set deep water wash because it's a pretty heavy towel load. Washer temp set to cool, soil level set to light. So this is going to determine how long the machine is going to be in that wash cycle. Doesn't really have anything to do with how much water the machine's going to use. Over here you do have rinse options. One rinse, two rinse. Now with softener, what that means is that like the deep water wash, it's gonna use full submersion. And then pre-soak, you can uh, flip that on or off. So I've got it going, filling up right now. King size capacity, no center agitator. Just got the agitation plate on the bottom. So it's gonna fill all the way up with water. Agitate for a bit, drain the water out. Then it'll fill back up with fresh water. For the rinse cycle, drain that out, and then we'll be on to the final spin. I'm gonna show you that it agitates like it's supposed to, drains the water out like it's supposed to, and has a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. All things you would wanna know is if you were standing here yourself checking it out, you get to see that it's all in perfect working order. Then when that's all done, we'll move the clothes over to the dryer, and then I'm gonna show you that the dryer's working perfectly. We've got a time dry setting where you can control the heat settings, three different options here. Then you have a fourth, no heat air fluff setting super delicate items can go here and then there's also an automatic setting we just kind of set it and forget it it does its thing with wrinkle shield and what this does is about every 10 minutes it'll kick on for 10 minutes shut off for 10 minutes for up to 90 minutes giving you extra time to get back and fold that load up before the wrinkle set in you could turn that signal the buzzing at the end you could turn it off if you want to you got your lint trap right here we want to make sure that gets cleaned before each and every load so as soon as those are done, we'll show that off as well, but we'll let that fill up and we'll come back. All right, so we just switched over to wash. Now it might stop and still add a little bit more water. Also, <clears throat> I've got an additional striker here that I bought online and essentially just put it there and it thinks the lid's closed. So that's why this is open and I can show you what's going on. But just about got full submersion. I only use about a cap full of bleach in these loads that I run here. But if you're using your HE soap at home, you'd be it'd be pretty sudsy here. And so how this works with no center agitator is you see those clothes pushing up through the middle. So they're coming up through the middle, agitating on that plate as they get drug across the bottom, comes up through the middle, and then as they fall back down to the sides and get vortexed back under, all of that agitation is happening on the clothes. So this is a lot like a front load washer where it's upright and the fall, clothes are falling on themselves, there's no agitator in there. The only agitation that happens in a front load washer is the clothes falling on themselves in the soapy water. Same idea here, except you also get the plate on the bottom, the vortexing on the sides, and so it all kind of works very similarly, but that's how it works there. So, as you can see, it also, nice smooth operation and nice and quiet. All right, we're moving into that final spin cycle. Got the drain pumping that water out nice and fast. And so it's gonna spin to extract the rinse water. And we'll come back once it's up to full speed. And you can see the lid lock there. So at home, you wouldn't be able to open this up, but once again, I got that extra little striker. So. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, and it's just about up to full speed on the spin cycle. Put that up and show you. Spinning super fast. It's got the drain running. One thing that's really nice about how fast these spin is those clothes come out max extracted, nice and light, which cuts your drying time in half. So it's gonna save you a little drying time and energy there. Now this spin cycle will probably run two times, maybe three. It has to reach a certain RPM, and that's what tells the machine it, it's been spun out enough. But uh, since this is a pretty heavy towel load, it might run three times, but most of the time if you just have a normal, you know, shirts and pants and stuff, it's about two times on the spin cycle. All right, now we've got those clothes moved out of the washer. You see a super size, king size, whatever you want to call it, capacity, huge capacity on the washer. Anything you can wash in there, you can easily dry over here. We've got it on its high heat setting, time dry. I'm gonna open it up here in a second, show you that it is tumbling and heating like it's supposed to. So it's about 73 degrees on top of the dryer. About the same on the floor, about 72 degrees on the concrete floor. So we will open this up. You see everything's tumbling. 
right inside that tube right there it's gonna super hop that's where the heat comes in right there your heating elements kind of back behind here so the heat gets pulled in through here mixes with the clothes and then exits right there which is where your lint trap is on top there catches any additional lint that's why it's super important to change that out and make sure you have good airflow through here then it goes down and exits out the back of your dryer so in your laundry room you're gonna have that silver vent hose hooked up and that's gonna even further muffle the blower motor sound there so it'd be nice and quiet and just kind of hear the clothes tumbling around a little bit and these are good to go now you know everything on them works perfect we'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale if you have any questions at all feel free to reach out I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video thanks you guys have a great day